If you're stuck at home, you're not alone. <laughs> And before this video ends, I want you to click the like button right now. Click it uh, to comment a little jibber jabbish and uh, maybe share it with somebody because if they're stuck at home too, I'm sure they'd want to see what's behind this photo, which you will see at the end because you're not going to want to miss this. It's phenomenal what's behind it. But anyway, so let's get into it. The three ways to make money on online. And let me say this about the crisis really quick. You know, a lot of people are sick. It's really scary out there. 20 years ago, if this happened, nobody would have Wi-Fi connections or FaceTime. I mean, I was on with Jesse Itzler the other day. I just think like when you're doing certain things like this, you don't realize how good we actually do have it in society. And going forward, you know, a lot of people are losing their jobs, businesses are going out of business, they're doing layoffs. It's really bad, but you have every chance, and with me here teaching you, have every chance to kind of make money and help you out as we go. All right, so the first thing you can do uh, to make money online is if you are product driven. So there's all different type of entrepreneurs out there, different type of people, right? If you have a product you want to sell, you can start for less than $100, like a Shopify store or a drop shipping store online and sell a product. There's a lot more expensive ways to scale it up, but that's something that you can do to make your team, your time more valuable. But by taking a, a product, like let's say I liked hoodies for a while and I actually did a little Shopify store and made a little money. I spent too much on ads and figured it out that way. But, but I had a product that I put out there on there. And, I, and so you can do it. If you have a product that you even made or something, there's so many different ways to do the product size store. Um, that's one thing you can do. Just set up a little web, web page, have people link to it and get some traffic to it. The second thing you can do is a service-based business. So let's say you're a fitness trainer and it closed down, like my buddy Ricky, or um, what else, an accountant, where you have all this uh, knowledge. Or let's say you were, um, what else? Uh, let's say you had, let's say you're a sales guy and it closed. You can take your knowledge and you can sell it as a service for anybody. So kind of how that works is, you know, you could either build a, a blog and write some value and it takes some time. That's how I'd say start now, start a blog on a little website. It's kind of fun, you get creative. Start something that you actually think that you knowledge and you put out there and if people see enough value in it, they'll pay for it. I learned that enough with the content I've been putting out over years where people are paying me for coaching sessions to get them to the next level. In fact, you can actually even put it out that way where then you could do a video vlog like a YouTube channel or you could do a course as well, uh, which I'm coming out with the Make More Money Online course or Make More Money course and just help people with money, mindset, and knowledge. So these are all different things you can do. I've even partnered with my buddy Brad Lee who he, um, he has Lightspeed VT and he helps you build, build courses right away. It's almost done for you where you can record them really anywhere and just be live like that. So you can take knowledge, fitness trainer, accountant, salesman, and you can put it in a blog. I mean, I'm trying to think more um, girl related. I'm sure there's something you can do there too, but I don't think too many girls watch this anyway. Um, and then the other one is uh, the third one, and this one's really kind of cool, something I've actually used before, is you become a freelancer. So even though there's all these companies working from home, they're looking to hire somebody. So there's two sites that I like to use, Fiverr and Upwork. So those two sites, you can actually go and apply to do a job. So let's say you're really good at making images, you're really creative, right? You're good at making YouTube thumbnails. You can actually apply to make a better YouTube thumbnail than whichever one you see that you clicked on here and I would pay you $10 to make that thumbnail. The cool thing about that, whether it's uh, Fiverr or Upwork, and Fiverr's more of the beginner entry, Upwork's more like kind of the um, kind of head one. Fiverr actually came with $5, everything was $5. Now it's not, but actually it might be now because the whole market's on sale pretty much it seems like. But you put your sales out there, you set your prices and you work when you want to work. It's really cool. Actually my buddy Julian Sherwood, who's on this channel as well, I told him about it and he wound up getting like $11,000 gig or something, I don't know, some gig to sing and they used his voice out in New York City. He had to do what he loved by putting himself out there. So you don't know until you put yourself out there. So I hope this video added value to you. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Whatever product you do, whether it's the uh, products, right? Let's say you sell hoodies or you pick sunglasses, you drop ship it with Alibaba from China and all that stuff too, which you can still do actually. Or let's say you build a service of a, a vlog and people wanna pay for your service as you kind of train them as a fitness trainer one-on-one. -on -one. Let's say you do that. Or let's say then you do you know the last thing, you just do Fiverr and do your courses and you're doing thumbnails for somebody or they have everything from social media creation and everything. You're still gonna need how to, how to sell it. So a lot of things that do work well is um, in the back I have Bradley's Closers, Clo Clo Closers course down in the bottom. You can click on it. 
Um, if you do, I get paid if you buy the course, and it helps you actually learn how to sell. He also has his Lightspeed VT down there, which is really cool, which is helps you build your own course on his platform that he owns. Which, if you look back in the past channels, you can see he's kind of a cool guy, and if you know, kind of interviewed him and hang out, hung out with him. I plan on doing some more stuff in the future. Um, so I think that's it. I kind of just took that in one take, which is good because I hate editing. So now's the time to see what's behind this. Guess. I want to hear guesses. All right, you got it. Who's that good-looking guy? Actually, it kind of looks bad. All right, so story behind this photo, really quick. I was in New York City. This is back on years ago. We actually might post Vichy videos when I was this young. Uh, Life in Myrtle Beach was a video that we did, a vlog, just like um, the Corona Connecticut Chronicles, which is coming out. That one um, uh, is like a vlog kind of that I did years ago. So I went to New York City on when I was actually in college. Um, on first year experience, we went to, I don't know, wherever it was. I forget, the UN, I think. And I went and got a picture made of me and came back on the bus with this picture. Uh, my dad hung it up on the mantle. I actually took it down now. That's the one thing, good thing about um, family time is you get to, you know, you get to take pictures, embarrassing pictures down that you've made before. All right, that's it. Um, I hope this was uh, helpful to you. Please share, like, subscribe, comment, and put some jibber jabber in the bottom. I don't care what you say. It just makes YouTube think, oh wow, this is a good video. Let's promote it more. And then people will then see, hey, instead of being at home watching the news, they'll be like, you know what? Let me start creating an idea inside here. And then that actually helps. That's when people change the world, you know? Not that everybody's gonna do it, but if you never give up and you never quit, you'll be surprised at what you can do. So that's me inspiring. All right, jeffjcutting.com.